Hi there. In this video, I'll show you how to add data validation and drop down menus in Google Forms. In this example, I'll use Google Forms to build an order request form. Then I'll show you how you can build the same form using SheetGo Forms. SheetGo Forms will make it easier for you to build forms when you are a spreadsheet user and have a large database or when you need to add multiple data validations. So let's get started. I'll open a new Google Form to start building my order request. Let's start with the first question. Here I want to ask respondents what their names are. When I open this drop-down menu, I can choose the type of question. I'll choose short answer and type in the question. Name. If I click the three dots here, I can add data validation by selecting response validation. Now you can choose what type of answer you want. These are the options, number text, length, and regular expression. Let's say I want to set the maximum character limit. I'll select length and maximum character count, then I'll add the number and the custom error text. I'll click here to make this field required. Now I want to ask them for their email addresses. I'll choose short answer again and type an email. Then I'll click response validation. Now I'll choose text and email. Then I'll add the error message, invalid email address. We can also create drop-down menus in Google Forms. I'll add another question and choose drop-down menu. I'll type in the question and all the options. Whenever I need to add or remove any items, I can edit this question. When I click the X, I'll remove the option. Let's preview this form to see what it looks like. There you have it. I have created an order request form using Google Forms. Now I'll show how to apply data validation and create a drop-down menu in SheetGo Forms. With SheetGo Forms, you'll always start with a spreadsheet. This is the biggest difference from Google Forms. If you already have data in a spreadsheet, SheetGo will automatically create a form from your source file. Here I'll start from scratch. I'll open a spreadsheet and create the columns. I'll start with the first column name. I want to make this field required, so I'll add an asterisk. Then I want to specify the character limit. I just have to add this simple formula. The second column is the email. I'll make this field required again, and I'll add the word email between brackets. Now SheetGo will accept only valid emails. Head over to SheetGo now and click Create Form. Select your source file and click Finish and Save. SheetGo has created your form automatically from the spreadsheet. When I fill out the first field, SheetGo won't let me type more than 30 characters. As you can see, it won't allow me to enter an invalid email address either. Now let's add a drop-down menu in SheetGo Forms. All you have to do is create a drop-down list in your spreadsheet. Go to your spreadsheet and click Data. Then, select Data Validation. First, select the range where you want to apply it. You can add all the options now. I'll select drop down from a range instead. I can paste all the options somewhere in the same sheet. When I select this range, Google Sheets will add all the options to my list automatically. Click Done to save it. The biggest advantage is that you can easily update the drop down menu by updating the range. Whenever you add an item to the range, it will be included in the menu automatically. Now I'll go back to SheetGo, click the three dots, and select Sync Form. SheetGo will update my form and create the drop-down menu. When you open the form, you will be able to choose an item from the menu. SheetGo provides you with a lot of advanced features that can help you build complex forms and automate data collection without writing a single line of code. For example, when you add validation, you can easily create autofill custom fields in your forms. If you want to learn how to use these advanced features, click the link in the description below. That's how you can add data validation and drop down menus in Google Forms. Check out our other videos, subscribe to our channel, or visit SheetGo.com for more spreadsheet based automation ideas. Thanks for watching and give us a thumbs up if you liked the video.